All right, guys, um, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will be attending to those who sent me mail and um, WhatsApp as regards to this of uh, HYP Mass version 7.8 script. Um, they've been experiencing um, error 500 whenever they want to, um, like, take for instance, they want to um, hit the um, forgotten password or reset password or maybe um, they are registering and it refused sending them mail or it refused sending them OTPs. We are going to rectify this error. So I'm going to tell you where you are doing your mistake and where the mistake is from, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So if you stay with me to the end of this tutorial, you should be able to fix this error and avoid it. Mistakes you need to avoid as a web designer or a web developer. Never tell a client you cannot do it. Those that are giving you projects, never tell them you cannot handle that project. Collect the project, get someone who can handle the project more than you, give the person the project, give the person his payment and you collect your percentage. You are building your reputation and your company. Immediately you tell a client, no, I don't have to handle the project. He will not, he or she will not come back the next time. Collect the project, outsource it to someone who knows how to do it better than you. Always be optimistic and always be positive. If you know you are new to our youtube channel please i want you to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so that whenever we release videos next time you'll be the first person to receive it so now if you are having this issue or if you purchase this script from anywhere from uh, ourselves or from other persons then you are expressing this error so we are going to troubleshoot it together so uh, the reason why you are experiencing if you're trying to send um, verification or you are trying to register and um, it didn't send an OTP, but rather it will bring out this error message, is because your SMTP configuration is wrong. So I'll just go to my dashboard. I'll just go and log into my dashboard and um, we are going to fix the issue together. So the reason why you are having this error 500 is because your SMTP, as I said, is wrong. So let me just log into my dashboard. If you have created your email from your cPanel, there's what we we'll call SMTP. So the SMTP is what makes your email function very well. Let's say you hit on login and you want to do password reset. So what will make your email work or what will send you password or what will send you anything as regards to email is your SMTP email configuration. So if your email configuration is wrong, then you are doing the wrong thing. Definitely, you are going to experience this. Take for instance, I want to log in. It is going to pop up what error 500 and we are going to troubleshoot it together and we are going to know why this error is happening. So if you are seeing this error, you are not alone. You are not alone. So I want you to go to your admin dashboard. But first of all, you need to go to your cPanel and make sure your email configuration is correct. Make sure your email configuration is correct, your email address is correct, then your email password is correct. Your email password is correct, then your incoming server, you need to know what is your incoming server domain name and the URL. So if you got in that already, so you have to come to your admin dashboard, then you have to um, come to email manager email manager and click on email configure now even if it's not this very script if you are using other scripts hmm? if you are using other scripts that are laravel built not purely php but mixture of laravel then you are going to encounter such error if you are not linking your or if you are not configuring your email correctly so i'm going to show you how to configure your email correctly so that you can um get the, your email sent to your inbox and in some ways, if your email is wrong, it will be sent to your, your spam folder. Now, once you click on your email configuration, first of all, you want to make sure this PHP mail setting is like this. Your SMTP mail setting is the default. So come to your um, um, email SMTP. Now, email sent from where? It should carry your official email address you created from your cPanel like this from your cPanel. It should carry it from your cPanel. Now, SMTP host. This is where you are doing your mistake from. This is where you are what you are doing your mistake from. If you head over to your cPanel, yeah? If you head over to your cPanel, you will see that your SMTP host is your domain name. The host name. 
who is hosting this email address is your URL is your domain name. You understand? So the mistake you are doing, you are using mail.yourdomainname.com instead of using your domain name.com. So just you are just going to click off mail.yourdomainname.com and it should your SMTP host should be your domain name.com. Now your SMTP username is your email address. Your email address. Your password, SMTP password is your email password. Now your SMTP port, you will have to check your cPanel email account to see which port is being allocated to that account. There are some ports that are 995 and the rest. So come to your email connection mobile, then you see SMTP here. You see the SMTP is what the port is 65. Your server is what? Your domain name. Your income server is domain name. So you need to check which port is allocated to you. So mine is 465, then your port will be 465. Your SMTP encryption is XXL, not TLS. So if you check it, you will see that it is what? XXL, you see it here, XXL. Then you make it what? XXL. Then once you are done, you hit on update. Now, if you click on this update right now, yeah? It is going to what take this very one. So once you click on update and it's update, you are going to make sure that you redo it again and you click on update again so that it will take this very default. Is that clear? I come again. When you click on update, make sure that your update status is on what your SMTP mail setting, not your PHP mail setting. As you can see, it's my PHP, which I am not using PHP. I am using what my SMTP. So I'm going to click this mail here. I'm going to click this mail. Then I'll leave the rest like that. Then make sure your password is correct. Make sure your password is correct. Then I'm going to hit what? Update email. Then once I hit update email, it's going to take this very default. That is all. You will see that your email will start working and your site will start running perfectly. So once you are done, you just have to come back to this place Go back to where it's giving you that error and reinitiate the command. You will see that your email will work. So as it is like this, our email is properly configured now. So if your SMTP account is correct, this is a demo account. I'm just using that as a demo account. But you have to use a correct SMTP account. Then if it is correct, if you send, if you reinitiate the send verification, that your error 500 will not appear anymore. Rather, it will go directly. Are we getting it? It will go directly. So you have successfully solved the issue of that error 500 whenever you want to initiate forgotten password or you want to register. Whether it is this script or, or any other script you are using, that is how to solve your email configuration. Is that okay? As you can see, send verification code to your email. It has sent. Are you seeing it? So we have successfully solved the error of error 500 while you are trying to initiate this or you are trying to register. So that's how you set it. If you have the same error, just follow this step and you are going to resolve it. I hope you find value in this video. If you find value, please don't forget to share this video, like this video because there are other persons that are encountering the same issue. So if you share this video to them, they are going to see it and they are going to rectify it. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. We release video every week so that you will not miss out from any of our video. Thank you. If you have comments, go to the comment section and drop your comment. Or if you have any question, drop it. Or if you have any project you want us to handle for you, drop it and we'll come to you.